all praise honor and glory to yahawa bahashem yahashai bahashem makaha kadash and the bohana to the elder and apostle who gave me so who do well and who taught us this 100% truth according to the scripture a peace bless and salutation to you akiam who are pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven be on the forefront of this spiritual war uh, to make sure Jerusalem is established as a place here on earth again uh, without uh, forgetting you women and children out of there who are listening and learning well and uh, <coughs> under the men of the Lord so in today's lesson uh, we are going to look on how Babylon uh, is a pomp of Babylon is a drought uh, into hell, so to speak. See, uh, and another word for uh, hell is, uh, uh, we call it the abyss. See, uh, the underworld, uh, or the lowest position, see, uh, or low estate. Uh, like how the children of Israel uh, back then we are likened into angels, man. But we fall uh, to the low estate, uh, the condition we are in. Uh, the same thing will happen to Babylon, man. Uh, Babylon will fall into the abyss, uh, so to speak, the underworld. And never uh, will it come again. Uh, there is no uh, uh, comeback, or there is no bouncing back. Uh, going back uh, a few uh, months ago, myself and the other brother from GMWC, uh, we used to prophesize on the so-called financial collapse. Uh, Certain news used to come out like uh, the Dow Jones industrial average is down uh, for 700 uh, point. So we did the lesson on that, and uh, the next day, uh, Esau uh, <laughs> uh, will bounce back like a charm. Eh? So it reached the point where people uh, didn't want to listen again, man. They become uh, decent desensitized so to speak uh, they were desensitized they don't want to listen again when we prophesize about the downfall of this kingdom uh, in terms of uh, economic collapse let's see so and uh, now we are seeing uh, things are happening man. Uh, this is this is words uh, in which he, uh, the lord is using us as his mouthpiece to speak uh, to the children of Israel and uh, won't go out void. So I have a video here uh, from the Blazer GMWC watchman uh, from the New York camp. A good brother, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to him. He have a very a crucial party uh, in the board of Yahweh man. So uh, I watched his video and I was inspired, man. And I was like, this is it, man. Uh, this is uh, what we call America one-way ticket to the abyss, uh, the underworld, man. And uh, never coming back. And we watched, watched those movies in which somebody, he wanted to learn uh, from his country. And when he reaches the airport he say one way let's say he's from korea or china one way ticket to america <laughs> what does that mean never coming back to that country again so this is one way ticket of america to the abyss or underworld man and never coming back i'm not speaking about an actual place where america will burn forever uh, see <laughs> Uh, the abyss here, it simply means uh, the lowest state, man. Uh, uh, there is something known as a trading place. So right now we are in that transition, man. We are trading place between Edomite and the nation of Israel, man. 
the nation of Edom is going down to the lowest estate in which uh, we once were. The children of Yashalala are being raised up from the low estate to our angelic status. So, without further ado, uh, let me <coughs> uh, play this video for you so that you can listen. It is a bit long, man. So you need to be to have some passion, man. Uh, because I know Jake have uh, the lowest concentration. They don't like a long, longer video, or they don't like to study, man. Very lazy. So, let me play it. More than 6.6 .6 million Americans have lost their jobs. The United States economy is shrinking as companies suspend their operations. In the process, many Americans are losing their jobs at a rate we've never seen before. The system is falling apart. No one out there is determined to fix the problems that we're going through at the moment. We have a big health problem. And at the same time, the economy is at the verge of collapsing and millions of Americans are losing their jobs. The future of the U.S. economy is uncertain. Experts are warning that it will take months to solve this crisis. Last week... Everyone expected a modest 281,000 jobless claims, and even the most accurate estimations by experts from the South Bay Research were inaccurate. They were very pessimistic about the outlook of the economy. They had projected that only about 2.4 million Americans will lose their jobs. They missed it by one whole million, because by the end of the week, we had over 3.3 million jobless claims. There is a tsunami of unemployment claims in many states. This week, New York alone has received a record 1.2 million unemployment claims on Monday, compared to just 50,000 claims per week prior to this crisis. By the end of this week, we're expecting another catastrophic report on the unemployment claims, and the question is how big this number will be. If there will be 3.3 million claims like last week, we will have a total of 6.6 .6 million unemployed people. However, things are getting worse every passing day. Experts are warning that the worst is yet to come. Many businesses are closing across various states. Many people are getting laid off. It'll not be a wonder if the unemployment numbers skyrockets to nearly 10 million by the end of the week. The upcoming unemployment numbers will reflect the numbers of recently laid off workers as well as the previously filed claims that had not been captured because of the overwhelming demand. The unemployment numbers will be released tomorrow and this will be exactly five days since President Trump announced that social distancing will be extended all the way to the end of April amid rising number of deaths and infections all over the country. This means that even in this new month, the number of unemployed people will continue skyrocketing. At the end of April, the unemployment numbers will be absolutely shocking. Probably, we will have double of what we have this month. Economists are predicting that the number of unemployed people can rise all the way to 40% if this crisis continues. In the history of the United States, we have never seen a spike this big in the number of unemployed people. Millions of people are filing for unemployment benefits. We've already gone past the all-time unemployment rate. More people are expected to lose their jobs in the coming weeks. What is happening in the U.S. at the moment is absolutely nuts because many companies have already announced they'll lay off more people this month. Virtually all businesses are being shut down. It'll take two to three months before the economy opens up again. Even during the Great Depression of the 20th century, we never had this level of economic meltdown. To call this a tsunami of unemployment will be a big understatement. This is historic. It has never been seen in the history of the United States. The New York governor, Andrew Cuomo, said that thousands of people are trying to access the unemployment website simultaneously. Because of this, the website has been totally overwhelmed. It's actually crashed several times. 
The New York Department of Labor is overwhelmed with claims. The state is having problems in processing hundreds of thousands of claims every day. Things might not go back to normal anytime soon because this health problem is turning out to be a huge crisis that will take months to sort. The number of infections is increasing every day. This means the businesses will not open up anytime soon. Everything has been disrupted. Americans are continuously losing their jobs. A recent survey discovered that about 28% of Americans have already lost their incomes and wages in one way or another. Some people have lost their jobs. Others have had their number of working hours reduced significantly. Without any doubt, the employment numbers that will be released by the Department of Labor will be catastrophic. Experts are predicting that the number of unemployment claims filed this week alone will be greater than what we had last week. Economists from Morgan Stanley expect 4.5 million claims, while the Bank of America is projecting 5.5 million. It is very clear that these numbers will continue getting uglier in the near future, as the vast portion of the economy remains closed. At the moment, some of the biggest U.S. companies are bracing themselves for a prolonged disruption in their operations. Companies like Ford are keeping their factories in North America closed until when things will change. Even if this health problem is effectively managed and the economy opens up again, the entire United States economy will remain depressed for some time. Everyone should understand that for many years, we have had an artificial economy that has been fueled by debt. We have enjoyed this fake prosperity for many years. It looks as if the day of reckoning is finally here. Everything has always been a bubble, and all the bubbles are bursting in this economic meltdown. If this economic fallout continues for the next two months, we will find ourselves in total economic collapse. We have never seen this level of economic crisis in the United States. What is happening with our economy this time is making the 2008 global financial meltdown look like nothing. For many years, the Federal Reserve has been continuously printing more cash without any control. At this point, we have historic debt levels. For the next few years, we will have to grapple with massive debts. We may get financial chaos never seen before, especially now when we have such an unfathomable number of unemployed people. It looks like we never learned any lessons from the previous financial crisis. We should have already built a strong financial system that's based on strong economic principles. But no, instead, those in authority have created an inflated economy that cannot be sustained in the long run. Americans need a financial and an economic setup that can withstand these unexpected economic downturns. Of course, millions of Americans are not working because most people are under a form of shelter-in-place lockdown orders. This is a very big shock to the U.S. economy that's not been seen for many decades because in less than two months, the unemployment rate has surged from 3.5% to almost 30%. This is the highest rate of unemployment since the Great Depression of the 20th century. This will end up becoming something far worse than the Great Depression of the 1930s. The economy has been broken for many years. This is the perfect storm that will differentiate the real from the fake. To try and manage this economic meltdown, the Federal Reserve has opted for an unlimited quantitative easing. This economic stimulus might end up failing. It might hurt the U.S. economy instead of boosting the economy. Obviously, the Federal Reserve will have to print more money for them to buy various assets in their QE program. At the end of the day, this action will compromise the value of the U.S. dollar. Injection of more so, <clears throat> uh, you pretty much get uh, <clears throat> what is going on here, man. And here we are talking about uh, uh, the last leg of Issa Widom uh, rulership, man. Uh, everything is coming into a screeching ha halt. See? So this is a book of Isaiah 14, <coughs> starting as 
at verse 5. The Lord Yahweh has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers, man. Who are these rulers? It's a wicked elite of the nation of Widom. And uh, they are the one who created the America as a corporation, man. And uh, the sole purpose of America was to be uh, <coughs> the harm of this earth uh, so that it can revive uh, the beast system or the old beast system, uh, which is the Roman Empire. Uh, so uh, up to now, America have saved its purpose, man. So going forward in the new world order, the elite don't need America anymore. That's why you see they are hell bent to make sure America uh, collapse totally. They don't need America in their new world order. America have saved its purpose. It have renewed uh, the beast system. Uh, uh, it have become the harm of the earth like they, they wanted it to be. Uh, breaking in pieces these nations, uh, breaking in pieces this different uh, 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 third world country. Uh, you see, verse 6, uh, he who smote the people in last, we see a continuous stroke. Uh, who is that man? Esau via, via his, uh, uh, his uh, mega corporation known as America, man. They smote the people uh, with a continuous stroke. He that rules the nation in anger is persecuted and none hinders. The whole earth is at least is quiet as they break forth into sin. Right now, <laughs> people are rejoicing, man. They are seeing America is coming to an end, man. You see? And I was speaking with some Jack here who don't know even the, the, the truth. They are saying, man, too hairy with the white man, man. And everybody now know that the, the white man is the devil, man. Uh, uh, everybody fucking know, man. And that, that is the Hashem Yahushai. That is the beauty of the Hashem Yahushai, man. You see, verse 8, yeah, the fig tree rejoices rejoice at thee. And this fig tree, it is symbolic means for the people, man. And the said of Lebanon, uh, said of Lebanon is saying, Since so though at laid down, no fellas come up against us. Uh, the said of the said of Lebanon it symbolically means to this other nation, man. You see? Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. That's why I will entitle this video uh, America One Way Ticket to the Abyss or the Underworld, man. Uh, 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 that is that, that, that title is being cited from Isaiah 14 and, and 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It is tired up the dead for thee, even all the chief one of the earth. It has raised up from their throne all the king of the nation. All they shall speak and say unto thee, At thou alone, Esau become weak as we, at thou became like unto us. Thy pomp. And that proud spirit is brought down uh, to the grave, man. As the underworld, man. Uh, uh, or you can call it the lowest uh, state you can be. The grave, man. Uh, that is synonymous with hell. <laughs> so right now, <coughs> all hell will meet, his, will meet his hour at his coming, man. At his downfall. You see? Even all the chief one of the earth, it has raised up. From their throne, all the king of the nation, all they shall speak and say unto thee, At the Zoe so become weak, as we at the Zoe became like unto us. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vial. Uh, right now, no basketball, no football, no netball, no anything, man, no any concert, no BT award, no anything, and no Easter. <laughs> that is going into uh, the noise of the vial, man. The worm with the speed under thee, and the worm covers thee. And what does the worm symbolize, man? Colossian, man. Esau's kingdom is uh, being uh, colluded from inside out. And going to that quote which says that every great civilization, you see, uh, fall from inside out, man. And that's what the Lord is doing, man. You need to understand something, man. America is the fucking biggest empire the Lord has ever elected here on planet, yes, man. 
the American army comprised of 60% of all of the world's army, all of these other countrymen combined together, it is 60%. That's why no nation dare to go to war uh, with America. And the spirit of the Lord will be heavy on this nation as they will come together, man. For them to be able to uh, make America form, fall, they needed to come together, man. And uh, the most important uh, milestone in that prophecy, America falling down, is NATO turning their back to America. <laughs> there is no other way, man. Because this is a, the fucking biggest empire to ever elected by the, by the Lord. And it is the last, last, uh, it is the last empire, man. You see? It is the last empire, man. Yeah. So, uh, the Lord, what he did is uh, he turned the American against the American, man. Uh, going back to that uh, quote which say, all of great civilization fall from inside out. Uh, going back to that uh, 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 scripture, the warm cover thee. So the warm cover the it going into all great civilization fall from inside out. Uh, the nation of Israel. Uh, how did Israel conquer, man? Because of civil war. <laughs> because of civil war. Uh, let's go back to, to, to the Persian mid. Civil war. And the list goes on and on and on. Uh, how did the British fall? <laughs> you see? from inside out, and that's how America will go down, man, you see. So this is Habakkuk 2 and 5, here yeah, Ethel, because he transgresses by wine, he's a proud man. And what is this wine, man? He's a philosophy, man. Uh, Esau's philosophy have made him uh, uh, very proud, man. And uh, when you uh, observe um, how America army and all of this department, different department, health institution, uh, you have people <laughs> who are very knowledgeable. Uh, uh, Jake, Jake always thinks that Esau is stupid. <laughs> hey, man, Esau is not stupid, man. When the scripture say, tell you that Isa is the basis of man, it doesn't not mean that you don't have the brain. It simply means that Isa cannot uphold any of the standard uh, which come out of the scripture. He can't be righteous, man. He can't be righteous in any means or form. That's why we call them the basis of man. It doesn't mean he doesn't have the brain. <laughs> you see? For you to be as a cunning hunter, you need to have that brain, man, to lay out a trap. And who is a play? Who is Isa a play, man? You, Jake, man. You, Jake, who says that Isa is a stupid. No, Isa is not stupid, man. <laughs> see? And you see Isa is a sloppy and all of that thing, man. Isa is not sloppy as you think, man. I will do another lesson for that, man. I will do another lesson for that. Yeah. Neither keeps at home who enlarges his desires hell, man. Here you have America, uh, they went in Venezuela, they want that resource over there, man. Uh, that's why they are hell-bent to make sure that, that that dude, Nicolas Maduro, he fell down, man. Because of what? Uh, their, desire, their, their desire is like hell, man. You see? And uh, if there's death and cannot be satisfied, but gaze unto him all nations and heaps unto him all people. Shall not all of this take up a parable against him? and a taunting proverb against him, and say woe to him that increases that which is not his, how long, and to him that laddeth himself with thick clay. So here you have thick clay is like, uh, is like, uh, it's like when you see pots made of thick clay, it is layer after layer. So Isa, what he do, he cover his wickedness, uh, layer after layer, sin after sin, sin after sin, man. But the scripture tell you for how long, man. <laughs> you see, what does that mean? It simply means that his end is near, man. You see, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite him, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shall be 
for boot unto them, because thou has spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of many blood, and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all, of all that dwell therein. You see? So, from there, let's go somewhere else uh, to substantiate my point that uh, this beach is going down, man. You see? This is a book of Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down in the city in the dusty or virgin dot of Babylon. And that the way the virgin dot of Babylon goes uh, into that America haven't been touched. And the financial collapse of uh, 1930, they are talking about at that time when America was good compared to other nation men. They were the lenders. They used to lend to Germany, lend to Britain. Uh, you see? Uh, that financial collapse, it hit the hardest this other nation. America was good for some, somehow, uh, because of what, man, to fulfill that scripture, the virgin dot of Babylon. And going all the way to World War II, World War II, World War II America, it came in the last minute and won the war. You see, <laughs> they won the war. Go and read that history. America was watching on the side, and they came in the last minute. They dropped a bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and they won the war like that, man. They didn't really fight. You see? Oh, Lord of the Chaldean, for those shall no more be called tender and delicate. And uh, tender and delicate, what does that, that mean, man? Uh, this beach don't have many stripes, man, like other nations. But the scripture tell you he will be beaten with many stripes. You see? Uh, and going back uh, for this virgin daughter to sit on the dust, it simply means his power structure will be broken into dust, man. Take the millstone, grind the mill, and cover the lock and make bare the leg. So nothing will be left and turned onto this beach, man. I cover the thigh, pass over the liver, man. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Uh, that goes uh, to Esau being exposed, and every day Esau is being exposed, man. Especially this month, man. These two past months, March and, and April, Esau is being ex exposed to the extent that I'll be thinking that, man, <laughs> Can this man really do this, man? I was watching one video in which Esau uh, will be able to manipulate your DNA uh, via the chip, man. And I was like, man, <laughs> uh, you people who think that Esau is stupid, you continue thinking like that, man. That's why Esau was likened into a wolf, man. And what a wolf do, man? You see, uh, they are very legendary when it comes to hunting, man. Uh, see, they trap their prey, man, like, 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 like nothing in a minute. And that is Esau, man. And who is the prey? You. Uh, you who say that Esau is a stupid. That's why the scripture uh, command you to be circumspect. Uh, 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 that there, is a, there is a meaning uh, like there, man, to be circumspect. Because Esau is like into, into a serpent, man. And what is serpent known for, man? Subtility. So Esau is not stupid as you think, man. You see? You see? He's not stupid as you think, man. But Esau is being exposed, man. That's the beauty of it, man. Thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance. I will not meet thee as a man. You see? Yeah. So, uh, that's it, man. Let's go to, uh, to Second Ezra and the sea. And that America will be beaten with many stripes, man. Uh, this beach known as the America. Many stripe, man. Uh, so let's let me read here. Yeah, so this is second Ezra 15 and verse 28. Behold the unhorrible vision and the appearance as they laugh from the east. You see. Uh, uh, so let's go down here. To verse 44, they shall come to her, who is that man, this beach, America, and they besiege her, <laughs> you see, and not only come to her, besiege her, that's why I told you, in order for America to fall, this nation needed to bind up together, man. No, Russia only can, won't be able to, 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 to sink America down, uh, <laughs> that, that's what it is, man, Russia, 
we, we only say Russia will, 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 will destroy America via some nuclear war. That is a process. That is not a, a something to wake up one day and say, let's bomb America. No, <laughs> that is a process, man. Uh, uh, like, let me give you an example. If you has, have a lead ship or a lead cruise ship, uh, you can't just go on your harbor and dock it, man. You need time, man, uh, to rotate that ship so that it can dock, man, uh, perfectly. And that lead ship is America, man. In order for America to come into a stand still, uh, time, man, time, time. There is a process of time, man. You see? Uh, I did a lesson about time. I don't remember the exact name of that lesson. But let's continue. And they besiege her, they star, and all last shall they pour out onto her. Uh, then shall the dusty smoke go up onto heaven, and all they that be about her shall be well her. You see? So, let's go to verse 49. I will send a plague unto who? America. Upon the widowhood. I remember America was likened into that hallowed. Uh, what does that mean? He has many lovers, man. He has many countries in which he can do business with. Uh, 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 so he, she is a hallowed man, but the Lord will send it to her widowed, man. All of this nation uh, will leave America, man. And that require time, man. Poverty, famine, thought, and you see all of that. Poverty. Many Americans now are poor. Uh, famine, man. That's what is coming, man. There is nothing in the store. Sword, that's a civil and lusty. Pestilence, uh, with thy house, with destruction and the death. So, uh, let's go to verse 51. Thou shalt be weakened as a poor woman, woman with stripes. Let me repeat. Thou shalt be weakened as a poor woman with stripes. Remember, America uh, was uh, referred to as a tender and delicate woman, but he shall be beaten with many stripes, man. As the coronavirus is just one of many stripes, man. As one is chastised with wound so that the might and the lover shall not be able to receive it. His lover, uh, uh, the, the, the European Union, NATO, and all of his friends in Saudi Arabia, won't be able to receive her, man. Uh, who will you want to receive a, a, a harlot? Nobody wants a harlot. Nobody will comfort America, man. So, uh, this is, could be a one-way ticket of America into the abyss or the underworld, man. See? And there you people who say that uh, maybe America will bounce back from this, man. Uh, fuck you niggas, man. Uh, who are very comfortable in this society, man. Uh, you want to live here forever, man. As for us, man, uh, who save uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with humility, uh, we don't want even to add one fucking day here, man. We don't want our children to grow in this kind of society, man. So this is a special arm. I hope you brothers were edified. On to the next thing.